Alright guys, we are back in the building. It's been a little while. Um, I know we said that last time, but um, unfortunately it's just been busy times for us so we haven't had a chance to really sit down and film. We're hoping that there's not going to be any more hiatus from us, but we make no promises. We'll try, but we make no promises. So, um, for those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Senna. I'm Joshua. And we are Malts and More. Yeah. Um, and yeah, if you're watching this video, you must know a little bit about us. I'm hoping if not, go back, watch our intro video, find out about us, watch the few, I don't even know, dozens of videos that we have and um, see what we're about. But anyway, today, today, if Josh can unlock this for me, in today's video, we're gonna be answering a question from a viewer. So as always guys, send us your questions um, and we will try and get back to you as soon as possible. So, um, here comes a question, I'm gonna read it because it's slightly lengthy. I started watching your videos when I was doing suit research for my wedding two years ago and I've been a big fan ever since. Thank you, appreciate that. Um, you were very helpful when it came to preparing my outfit and gave me a totally new perspective on formal wear. You're both very entertaining and you strike a great balance between presenting sartorial traditions and rules while also allowing people the freedom to wear what they like unless it's tracksuit bottoms and smart shoes. I'm glad you understand. Yes. And thank you for the compliments. Keep these coming in. We definitely will read the ones that start with compliments. Um, my question regards single button jackets as opposed to the standard two, three or double breasted. Obviously the bottom button on a two button jacket is never done up. So is it okay to opt for a jacket that doesn't include one? What are your opinions? Would you say that they are inappropriate for corporate environments as they aren't traditional and should be kept more casual for social event? Two more casual social events. What connotations do you think they carry and would you ever wear them yourselves? Cool. All right, so Josh, yeah, lead the so way. Good question. It's a really, um, yeah, it's, it's an important one actually because I think a lot of people might have that question in mind but not really think to ask it because um, it seems like something you should know and something that you'd just be too embarrassed to ask about and quite frankly, I don't think there's <clears throat> a straightforward response to it. So what I can do is give you my opinion on it. Sorry, I've got a really, I think I've got a frog in my throat, I don't know what's going on there. But, um, <clears throat> yes, so one button jackets, traditionally, they were designed for, um, they were designed and put, oh, they were worn, should I say, traditionally, for more formal attire, yeah? so dinner jackets, tuxedos, things like that, so <clears throat> more that party where people would wear that. Now, what you'll find, what, what I find, is when you go into the shops, and you go into the high street, and you're looking to buy something ready to wear, the majority of suits that people will make in your corporate section for your corporate suits tend to be two buttons. So that's what you're gonna find is that most guys won't wear a one button suit in the corporate world because the majority of the corporate suits are made with two buttons. Then when you start looking at the ones that are more for evening wear and dinner jackets and things like that, you start, you start seeing ready to wear in one buttons. So it sort, of <clears throat> it sort of funnels people into these two sections. Now, I've seen made to measure and bespoke suits in one button that can be worn for a corporate world and they look very well. So, can it be done? In my opinion, yes. Because I don't feel like if you wore a one button suit to work, anyone would one, notice, and two, would say that's really bad, you shouldn't be doing that. I don't think it's that far ahead. I mean, if he was wearing like a bold pinstripe or a bold pattern, those are the things that would draw the eye's attention. But a one button jacket over a two button jacket, I don't think that's going to straight away say to, say to your manager, hey, what are you doing with that? I think you'll be fine if you manage to find one with one button that looks corporate. As long as you haven't got like a shawl lapel um, or anything, any fancy material on the actual jacket itself, I think you'll be fine wearing a one button jacket to, in the corporate world. My opinion, would I do it myself? Yes, I would. <clears throat> but most likely it would be a made to measure slash bespoke suit. That's my that's my that's my take on it <clears throat> before my throat gives out. <clears throat> yeah, um, to add to that, I fully agree. Um, I've done it many times myself. There's so many guys who come in who've been wearing suits for years, and then when while well, they come in to see us when they're looking for a new suit, they've been wearing suits for years, and you ask them, "Would you like a peak lapel <clears throat> or a notch lapel?" And they're like, what? "What? What's a peak lapel? What's a notch lapel?" So if you can't see something which is 
bang in your face up there then it's very unlikely that anyone's even going to notice if you're wearing a one button or a two button jacket again Josh you've got jackets which have no pockets on you wore them and people did not notice until you actually pointed it out so things like this nobody's going to notice um, unless they're a suit connoisseur yeah. and then if they're a suit connoisseur they're going to understand that as long as it looks right for the office it doesn't matter whether it's one button or two button this is it. so um, yeah wear it as long as as Josh says it's right as long as it fits within your corporate culture one button or two buttons absolutely fine even if you can get do it double breasted but again it, it really depends on your office type but yeah cool <clears throat> all right so that's it guys I hope this has been informative I hope it's helped you to understand what you can and cannot get away with again obviously check your office make sure that um, people are wearing suits if people are wearing suits one button two button works um, as always guys please send your questions to us at ask at um, you can leave any comments below in the comment section and make sure you if you're not already like and subscribe to our page leave a comment share it let everybody you know know about us and last but not least Make sure you're following us on all our social media channels so you can find us on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, as well as YouTube. And I think that's it. Cool. cool. All right, guys, until next time. Research from my. I started watching your. Right, let's start again. All right. Hi. Um, hi. Good question. Oh, I've got to talk. Oh, 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 o